Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. Still got a long way to go as far as getting to know, you know, what makes everybody tick. But it's been good work. I think the energy's picked up from day one, and um, they know what to expect every time they come out of practice and the intensity that we we demand. So it's been been good for both parties, um, coaches and players. I feel like the offense is finally adjusting the speed you want to play at. Not, not there yet, but I, I think they have an idea of what we're trying to get to, and we we'll always want to go faster, even if we're playing really fast. It's just um, how the offense is set up. So they, they, they know there's a standard there, and um, we've gotten a lot better than day one. So that's all you can ask. Defense starting to catch up as well. Defense is doing a great job. Coach Waller said has a bunch of complex schemes, and then they picked them up. And some of these kids have had five defense coordinators in five years, so um, they've embraced his schemes, and they've done a really good job out here. Some of the things that we've seen with nutrition is a little bit different just in terms of what these guys are getting. I talked to Dana about some of the things they're trying to do. What is just your thoughts on, on, on the way they're working with these guys nutrition-wise? Yeah, it's been big. That was that was a big deal when I got here, being at some of the other places I was at. Um, I had top-notch new nutrition programs, and I think to, to keep up with you know, all the programs, you gotta you got to have one of your own. And so Dana's done a great job, and uh, Kirby's really stepped up in, in that area. Do you think it just it takes some guys a little bit of time just to kind of buy into what it is they have to understand with, about how important their bodies are and keeping them keeping them where they need no to be? No question. I mean, their whole life they've eaten one way and, and sure. gotten by, and, and so now you're at a different level of competition. So to keep up, you know, you better do the right things, get rest, and eat well. And, and so those are things we're trying to um, teach them about. Is that more of a pro nutrition program than a, than a college one? I think it's kind of evolved. Uh, it started in the NFL, and now a bunch of college teams are, are doing that and trying to trying to get their athletes um, in the best shape possible through nutrition. Can you talk about the event for Jeannie Bailey on Saturday? Yeah, we're excited about that. Uh, Miss Bailey's been close and dear to our hearts for a long time, and um, she's doing really well. She's being strong through this deal. So we're gonna ex excited about the, that deal at Knicks, and, and we're all going to um, pitch in, and hopefully we can raise a bunch of money for it. Talk about just... It obviously being a special cause to, to you personally. Yeah, it is. Uh, I've known Miss Bailey for I don't know, 15 years now, and she's always she's kind of like a second mom to all of us when we're up here at school and um, you know took care of us for a long time. And so we'll be behind her every step of the way. And um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a special night. You talk about the thought process in moving JJ Lawler from defense to offense. Yeah, I, I, more numbers than anything, just sheer bodies, and he's got a long way to go. Um, we're still figuring it out, but but the D line's kind of backed up, senior heavy, and O line. We don't have any bodies, so we went ahead and made that move this spring, and we'll see what we do in the fall. Is it something you could move back uh, after all those seniors on defense graduate? De right, depending on how the fall goes and, and how he progresses with the offensive line, we'll make that decision in fall camp. Coach, talk about the excitement for the spring game on uh, Saturday. Yeah, the kids are fired up. Um, anytime. You get to come out in front of a crowd in here and, and get to play. Uh, it's going to be a great, great environment. It was for Friday Night Lights, and I'm sure it will be this Saturday. So they seem itching to get out there and, and get it going. For me, it's just going through for me a lot. Like the offense is running through me now. Uh, last year it was more of the outside receivers. Now it's more the inside receivers. You know, a lot going down the middle, and I feel like that's going to be really good for us. So that's a big difference in between this year and last year. I feel like you guys are finally adjusting the speed that coach wants you guys to play at. Oh, yeah, you know, it's a little tiring at some points. You know, uh, the practices get a little weary. And, you know, we had a bad session to set on seven today. And I think that's just because, you know, guys got tired, but we got fired up in team. And we had a really good team period. So that was good for us, too. So I feel like you have personally a little bit of something to prove because the way last year went for you. Oh, yeah, you know, there's, there's always something to prove, you know. Uh, for us, you know, I feel like we have a lot to prove. And, People aren't really buying in yet. And, uh, outside of you know Lubbock, there's not really people uh, thinking that we can do much. And I feel like we can do a lot. It's, we have a lot of potential on our team, and our defense is looking really great. And I think uh, our offense just needs to get a little bit more timing down. I think we'll have a really good uh, showing for next year. So, and I think uh, on the proving part, that's just something that you got to come out with every day. And uh, that's just something that you need to have on your mindset every day. And for me, that's just one thing that's always been on my mind. You know, uh, I've never really been able to finish a season as, as best as I could last year just was I started really strong and uh, as y'all know I got hurt and uh, the bowl game just wasn't good for me and I think uh, I have a lot to prove for myself this season too. When you talk about inside receiver there's obviously a dichotomy between a guy like you and then and Jakeem Grant how much difficult more difficult does that make to guard you guys when you have a guy like him and, and people just have to prepare different ways for the two of you? Oh yeah it's just totally different dynamics with us uh, I'm 6'6 
Uh, I'm pretty fast, but you know, Jakeem's 5'5", five, five, but he's really fast, probably one of the fastest guys in the Big 12. And, uh, you know, when we're both running across the middle, it's just really hard for one safety to guard both of us. And that's where we've really been uh, doing a lot of damage to our own defense is when they drop down on me, Jakeem's been running uh, for touchdowns. And y'all saw that last week in the Friday Night Lights game when Jakeem had those long plays. It's just because one safety pick, picked up on me and Jakeem was just running free. So uh, that's, that's going to be really big for us with me and him playing. Have you seen Jakeem develop any between the bowl game and today? Uh, I, I've seen that guy, you know, develop from the first day he got here. And he couldn't even run one sprint uh, when he first got here. He was so out of shape. And uh, that guy's really grown up. Uh, you know, especially when I got hurt, I felt like he really stepped up. Um, and, you know, I can see it between me and him. Uh, you know, we got our little chemistry going, and I think he's going to be a really, really great receiver for us next year. How have the quarterbacks improved, both Davis and Michael? Uh, Davis, you know, that guy is pretty incredible, man. I, I mean, he just came in here with such such a great demeanor and great swag, man. And the guy's just playing like if he's been here for years. And I feel like... Uh, Bird, you know, he's always had that leadership capability with us, and uh, he stepped up too. And I think um, probably about now they're probably about even uh, for as well as each other are playing. So um, either way, I think both of them are playing really well. Oh yeah, we're doing a good job with that. Uh, they're moving us around, so we get a chance to learn the whole defense and not just one spot. So we got guys lined up in different places. Like today, I even lined up some, at some nose today. So you know, it's good to see a lot of different packages and stuff like that. Does it make it more fun to have a, a lot of different ways that you can attack, uh, even just from the defensive line? Oh, definitely. You know, just to keep the offense confused, to keep the quarterback guessing, just give them all them looks to keep the game, you know, difficult for them. You know, and you know, hopefully create some, you know, cover sacks and stuff like that. What did they do differently from the first half? of the scrimmage to the second half of the scrimmage where they had a little more success offensively on Friday? Oh, they just executed better. You know, we started, we lost a little energy on defense. You know, it kind of showed, you know, with the first 60 plays, I felt like we did a real good job. In the last 30, the offense kind of, you know, they got the rolling. You know, we ain't going to hold them down forever. You know, it's a great offense on that side of the ball. You guys starting to adjust to the speed of the offense a little bit better now? Oh, of course. You know, after, you know, what, 13 practices now, we finally getting used to it. But I tell you, it's still, it's still wearing us out. <laughs> How much of an advantage is it going to be facing this offense week in and week out before the games are every week? Oh, yeah. It's going to, just when the refs out here, it feels a lot better. You know, just we're going to feel like we just getting all our energy back by the time, you know, the season come around. So it's just good to practice like that. When the game comes, it'll come easy. Terry, when, when you uh, looked at the year that you had last year and entering this year, did that kind of give you more of a motivation as a leader and knowing what you're capable of for this team? Oh, well, I just try to do my part. You know, I'm going to come out here every day and, and just work and try to lead these young guys the best I can. You know, try to do my part. You know, I'm not, I'm out here to, you know, put pressure on the quarterback and control the D line. So I'm just trying to do my best to do that. How has the offensive line improved from your standpoint throughout the spring practice? Oh, they've done a great job. They're doing a great job of working together right now. You know, they were kind of, you know, on their own and stuff the first couple of days. And they've, they've become a unit over there and they're, they're doing a great job right now. You're not going head-to-head with Jakeem Grant or anything, but can you just talk about his improvement over this uh, the spring? I tell you, he's electric, man. He's he going to make some big plays for us in the fall. I'm looking forward to seeing him. I expect him to run at least five kicks back to how he's uh, playing right now. Talk about the excitement for the spring game on Saturday. Well, I expect a big turnout. We had the Friday Night Lights, and we had one side field pretty much filled up. So the spring game, I expect a big turnout. I want all the fans to come out and support us because it's a new era of tech football, and we're just really looking forward to getting it started.